welcome back to my channel. Today we are in the kitchen making some yummy pink salmon. For this recipe, you'll need one can of pink salmon. I'm using the Star Kissed pink salmon, but you can use whichever one you'd like. This one has 120 calories, 20 grams of protein, and is a good source of calcium, and it's also rich in vitamin D. So you're getting some good stuff from this. You'll also need tomato, bell peppers, onion, and hot pepper. Once all the veggies are cut up, it should look something like this, around this size, but you could cut it to your liking. To cook the salmon, I'm using some vegetable oil. Once the oil is fully heated, I just add the veggies in to start the cooking process. I leave the tomato seeds because they actually have really, really good benefits. Tomato seeds are known to be high in fiber and also allow you to digest food easily. Before we add the pink salmon, we're just gonna saute the veggies a little bit to get them nice and cooked. We don't want it to be too crunchy. So we're gonna leave this sauteing for about five minutes and get started on the pink salmon. So pink salmon comes with some liquid in the can. So what we're gonna do is drain the liquid off. So we're gonna take the outside skin of the pink salmon off and then we're actually gonna just clean inside of it a bit. We're removing all the fine bones and all of those little dark pieces. Once that's all removed, this is how the pink salmon should be looking. I also went ahead and just minced it a little bit just to have smaller pieces. Once the veggies are fully sauteed for about five to eight minutes, it's time to add the pink salmon in. To add some flavor, we're going to be using some black pepper, a little cayenne pepper, and finally some garlic salt. Once that's all added in, we're just going to combine everything all together to get the flavor in nicely. To get a little bit of liquid inside the pot and to just allow it to cook for a bit, we're going to cover this and leave it for about 5 minutes. So once I open this pot, everything just smells so amazing and I'm super hungry right now so I cannot wait to eat. Just going to give it one last little mix and then everything is all done. So here we have yet another quick dinner under 30 recipe. I have it here with some white rice. All I'm missing is some avocado. This actually tastes pretty amazing with some avocado on the side. So if you have that, definitely pair it with it and do enjoy.